Hello, welcome to Vicky's Kitchen and Craft. Today we are making puri, also known as deep fried flat bread. For this recipe, we're going to need all purpose flour, ajwain, salt, water to make dough, and oil to fry. Okay, let's make a dough. For that, we're gonna put the flour in here. We're going to add a salt. And now we're gonna choose a, a joint. What I will do, I'll put it in my hand and rub it. And it adds a little more aroma into it. We're adding a little bit oil, not too much. And we're going to mix it. So salt and a joint can mix it well. It looks good and we're gonna add water just a little while little not too much water at the same time because if it's extra loose you're not gonna make a right one we're trying to make a soft um, yet a little bit stiff dough So our dough is looks very good. It's not too stiff. It's not too soft. So it's perfect. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna put it away for let it rest for five to ten minutes, and I'll be back. Okay. So now it's almost five minutes. Our dough is rested enough. Now we're gonna knead for a minute, like this. It's good. Now we're going to make a uh, little bowls out of it. See, you can use the oil. I I put a little oil in here, so you can use that. Just. You don't have to, but I think it's a good idea. So with the one cup uh, all-purpose, we got small eight bowls. We're gonna turn on the stove before we make a puris, so it can be until okay so here we can just more oil if you want but okay so it's better idea to make all the puris at once then you put it in the oil because that way you don't have to um, spend more time because puri need <laughs> attention when you're making it so you roll it You can choose a uh, dry flour if you want to, but I think this is the better way. This is the how I choose. Okay, so this is our first puri is already rolled and we're gonna leave it right here and we're gonna make all those So you can flat this little and then start rolling Okay. 
you can dust off flour for um, making this puri that's easier but I do not want to use it because it leave a mess in the oil so I always choose oil instead of flour all the sides should be this like, nice and clean so we can check uh, oil by throwing bit in there see it's uh, I throw the little bit dough in there and it's just right up that means oil is hot enough to put this puri in there here our first puri is going in gently press it down that helps them to be fluffy You can put more than uh, one, but I just wanted to test the oil, so I just chose one. Because sometimes it won't be turn out good. It's sometimes stiff if oil is not totally hot. You can put the paper towel or napkins that can absorb uh, extra oil in there. So looks like my first puri is ready. So would you gently press it, not like too hard, but gently. So that helps them to be fluffy. Alright, here is our puris ready to eat. You can eat with Punjabi shole or chickpea curry. The combination makes a delicious breakfast. If you like to learn how to make Punjabi shuli, click on the card or click the link in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. If you are new on my channel, please like, share and subscribe. Also, don't forget to click on the bell icon to get a notification for my new video. Thanks again for watching. I will see you with the new video. Until then, take care.